Thursday Night Lacrosse as we welcome you into Dragon Stadium where the Lake Orion Varsity Lacrosse team welcomes in Crosstown rival the Rochester Adams Highlanders. Hello everybody, I'm Dawson Wolf, your play-by-play -play commentator tonight. Alongside me is first time in the booth, Jameson Fanning. Thank you. Uh, I'm James Fanning. I will be your color, uh, color commentator for the night. So, we've got a good game ahead of us. Uh, as we've known, the Lake Orion Dragons have uh, had a shaky couple last games, you know? That's correct. Lake Orion's coming off a loss to Clarkston on Monday, 8-7. to seven. That was a really close game. Clarkston scored within the last three minutes of the game. Lake Orion is an even 500 this season, 5-5. Five and five. They play Brighton this Saturday, right here at home, 2 p.m. start. And this would, this would have been the second time that Lake Orion has seen Rochester Adams this season. But the first time was actually rained out due to inclement weather. And this would actually be the first time they're seeing Rochester Adams this season. And they're about the same record-wise. Adams is 5-6 and six on the season, coming off a blowout loss against Detroit Catholic Central on Monday. They play Detroit Adams on Saturday at 7 p.m. At and that tonight, for the Dragons, the go-to senior goaltender number 33, Hope Riddle. And on the other end, Adams is number one, Antonio Hart, in between the pipes tonight for the Highlanders. Ron Hebert, head coach for the Lake Orion Dragons. And on the other side of things, Bo Pickens, the Highlanders. As they get face off at midfield to get the game underway. Their Highlanders win that one. They take it over the 50. Stood up there by Dragons number 38, CJ Witt, midfielder. Adams work around. There's 24 circles towards the middle of the field, and there's going to be a whistle, and that's going to be Dragons ball as they take it up far side. There's Reese Meach. Does it off there. Giorgio Ruffini gets it back to number 22. Luke Gannon takes it up back to 21. Sam Haynes, star hockey player this winter for the Dragons hockey team. Sam Haynes, the team in goals and assists. He's out here on the cross field, number 21 on your screen in white. Cross Pepidellis, the Concordia University commit, takes it behind the Adams net. Tries to find Luke Gannon there in front, and that one's broken up by Adams. Almost intercepted there by the Dragons, and that ball's going to roll out towards midfield. Up in the air, Dragons get it back. There's Sam Haynes. He chucks it down to the 15. There's Luke Gannon. Trots around. There's six, 16 there behind. That would be Giorgio Ruffini. Brady Dury has it in the Dragons end zone, back behind the Adams net, taking his time. Goes around one Adams defender, takes his net, tried to find somebody in the middle, just out of reach of Kyler Carson there. As Adams coming back the other way, fast break for number 10, Jack Myers. Myers takes it towards the Dragon goal, fires. Good save there by Noel Perillo. Jameson, what have you seen so far throughout this first couple minutes here in the game? Uh, I've seen it be very fluid. So what we've seen so far is we actually haven't seen that much set play. There hasn't been that many like defined sets. They've just been doing some simple motion offense, really, just trying to run it in and get, us, get a goal as fast as possible. Yes, the Dragon's still working around the Athens end. Sam Haynes gets it. And goes around one Adams guy. He likes to fire that one in on net, and that one is saved by Hart. He dumps it off to number 11, Patrick Hodges. He's going to take it up the right side. Has room to run. Dumps it off. Finds Myers. As Adams takes this back in the Dragons' order, and they are quickly sworn by Dragons. Caught right midair. Brayden Browner steps that one and hands it off to Joseph Dejani. Takes it in, Dejani. Looking around. Come here, come here, hurry up, let's go. 
and Adams. And Lake Orion's going to call a timeout. Thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch LOHS sports and events all year. It costs less than $11 per month to watch sporting events, and nearly half of the subscription money goes back to our LOHS program. Tune in online at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. So both of these teams, Jamie, you know, are about 500, so this game could go either way. Mm -hmm. Wish we had a little bit more statistics on when they were supposed to meet earlier this year for them. We could expect what coming into tonight would be like, but... Due to you know, the sometimes it's fun going in blind. Sports is sports is fun in early mm -hmm. April, especially spring sports. You never know if it's going to get rained out or not, and that is exactly what happened to this these two teams' first meeting at Rochester Adams. It was rained out, so this is the first time these two lacrosse teams are seeing each other this year, and probably this is the last time that they will see each other in the 2022 season. If it's the only game, they better make it a good one. That is right. Lake Orion will start with the ball here right about the 43-yard line. Say so work it around. There's Cole Grone. Grone tries to find somebody open. 39 in white. Hands off to Brady Dury behind the... Athens net. He tries to make a run for the net. Look for somebody, and that one's going to be whistled and be a turnover and be Athens ball. Athens fast break coming up the right side here. Patrick Hodges, one of the captains on this Athens team. Good defense there by Cole Grone as the Dragons are coming back the other way. Here's Chase Whitaker to the Grand Valley commit. He comes right down the seam and fires that one right off the goal post. And Chase is down on the field. Chase Whitaker, after firing that shot on that quickly falls to the ground and he's getting tended by Lake Orion's athletic trainer. Stay up to date with Dragon Broadcasting on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Visit our website at www.dragonbroadcasting.org and drop us an email at dragonbroadcasting at lok12.org. We welcome your feedback. Chase Whitaker walking off the field under his own power. That is always good to see. Sam Haynes is checking back into the game for the Dragons, along with Mason Taplin, number 56 midfielder. Sad to see Whitaker taken out so early after such a great shot. Hopefully we'll be able to see more of him later on. Yeah, it's probably just a stinger. We should see Chase back maybe second quarter. The Dragons get it here. Brady Dury behind the Athens net, trying to get it started like he just had. Dury making a run towards the net. Hands it off. And the Dragons score. That's number 22. Luke Gannon finds the back of the net, and the Dragons take an early 1-0 lead. Lake Orion goal scored by number 22. That was goal right off a of nice 1-3-2 set. 14, Brady One Dury. man in the back, three attacking the crease, and two midfielders protecting the back line. 7.42 remain here in the first quarter. Dragons got a 1-0 lead over the Highlanders of Rochester Adams. Jamison Ray stands in for the faceoff there for the Dragons. He w wins that one. So he gets it back. Ray gets it back. Runs across the LO logo midfield. Cradles it, runs through a couple Highlanders, passes it back to Gannon. Trying to find somebody to dump it off to. There's 14, Brady Dury. Dury takes it. Right in front there, tried to find Luke Gannon going in the net, and that one is 
air milled past Gannon, and that's going to roll out to the 50, and that's going to be tossed back by Sam Haynes, but the Dragons did not like that call. As that could have been an easy chance there going back towards the Athens net. Adams, number two. Hart. So there are two Hart brothers on the at the Adams roster, number two and number one. One of them is a net, and one of them is a attack man. Here's Hart, number two. Takes it behind Noah Perillo in net for the Dragons. Takes it, fires on Perillo, and he scores. Hart finds the back of that and ties this game at one. Scored by number two, Rico Hart. See, the thing about that play is that it shows that sometimes you don't need to have like a determined, like specific set strategy. Sometimes you can just be fluid. Just make a couple passes and you'll get a shot on. Six twenty-eight left here in the first quarter. Game all knotted up at one apiece. Rochester's going to win this draw, and as the whistle blows and the Dragons get it back, number 40, Braden Brown takes it up for the Dragons, hands it off to Brady Dury. Dury finds Cross Puppet Ellis, as he takes and walks it around the 40. Trying to find a lane to try and sprint towards the net and get a quality shot off. Cross. Fires. That shot goes wide of heart. Tyler Baker is going to pick up pick up a ball and get it going here. Hands it off to number 14, Brady Dury, behind the, Athen the Adams net. Dury. Back up there, there's Sam Haynes. Haynes goes around an Adams player, gets it back down deep. Tyler Baker, Haynes, back up to Pepidellis. Pepidellis trying to drive towards the net. Pepidellis fires and good save there by Hart. Rebound and the ball goes up in the air. Dragons get it back. There's Tyler Baker controlling it for the Dragons. Hands it off to Sam Haynes. Haynes. She drives towards the net, turns back. Try to find Kyler Carson there in the middle of the field. Cross Pepidellis picks it back up for the Dragons. Trying to find the lane. Trying to make an inside move there on number 21, Lucas Dikowski. Pepidellis slowing the... Slowing the play down. Is he waiting for Stokowski to make a move? He drives towards the net. Takes it to the middle of the field. Throws it back down low. There's Brady Dury behind the net. He throws it up. Shot from Tyler Baker, and that one is handled easily by Antonio Hart. Adams now coming back the other way. Patrick Hodges goes through a couple dragons, making his way down. Tyler Baker trying to break it up. Flag comes in on the play. Cone back in the Dragons end zone. Adams slowing this play down as there's a delay penalty on the Dragons. Trying to find the lane. Here's the second Hart. Hart trying to drive towards Brill. He shoots, he scores. Hart puts Rochester Adams up by and one. Second of the night, scored by number really two, good example Hart. right there of why exactly they don't always like stop the game right when a uh, foul or a penalty is called. Because if they did that, that would give a disadvantage to the offense who didn't even foul, and they wouldn't have been able to score like they just did. Correct, so during that play when 
the goal was scored. That foul was canceled. I would assume the foul would have been on Tyler Baker as that flag came out when he tried to break up Hart's chance going to the net there with the nice two hand right across the forearm. As Adams wins this draw yet again. Kakosa brings this one up, dumps it off to 24. Finds the middle lane there, 13, gets it over, left side. That shot's fired, and they, they add on another one. Hat trick for night, Rico, two, Hart. Rico Hart. 310 remaining here in the first quarter. Dragons trail by two to Rochester Adams. Rico Hart already has a hat trick in the first quarter of this game. coming back. Brett gets it down low. Gets to number five. And up Cacone. And his heart gets it back. Has three goals on the night up to this point. Tries to make a drive again. Another shot. That one's going to go wide of Perillo. And Adams is going to pick up another ball there. Number 13, Shallow. Shallow turns. Tried to go towards the net and hit. He gets up into there. Perillo is going to take that one. He's going to throw it down. Sam Haynes taking this one up for the Dragons. Dragons need one here. Shot there by 14. Brady Dury, that one's going to go wide. And Adams is going to have to grab another one. 205 remain here in the first quarter. Dragons still down by two. Orzini takes this one up for the Highlanders. Hands it off to number seven, Chris Rivel. Rivel takes across midfield. Comes in, dumps it off to 24. Ben Brett. Brett. Cross field there to number eight. Garrett Morlock. Morlock spins. Finds 24 again. He throws it back down low. There's Cacone. Back to Hart. Got to watch him. He's on fire. Hart trying to take it towards Perillo. Three goals on the night for Hart so far. He throws that one in front, and that's going to find nobody, and that's going to roll out of bounds. Dragon's ball. Picked up there at midfield by 38, C.J. Witt. He drives towards the net. Throws it back behind. There's Brandon Dury. Less than one minute to go in the first. Dury tried to find Gannon in front. That one can go. Braden Brown drives towards the midfield. Throws it back behind for Dury. Finds Giorgio Ruffini. Ruffini. Looking around. Finds Sam Haynes. 14 seconds remain here in quarter one. Sam Haynes fires that one and that's gonna go out of bounds. Dury takes this one behind the Athens net, the Adams net. 
And time's going to expire here in quarter one. Adams has, still holds a two goal lead over the Lake Orion Dragons. Here are five good reasons for high school multi-sport participation. Fewer overuse injuries, less opportunity for emotional burnout, exposure to different kids and coaches, exposure to different roles, and learning to compete better. Being a multi-sport participant can help a kid become a more well-rounded person. Multi-sport participation is, cr is cross-training for life. Learn more at the MHSAA website. Rather rocky first quarter for the Dragons. Uh, we saw their de defense play a bit sloppily. They constantly got outmaneuvered by the offense for Adams, and it appeared that most of the times where they got possession back was from Adams throwing the ball out of bounds. Let's talk about Rico Hart. He's had a game so far, and it's only been through one quarter play. Three goals already on the board for him tonight, hat trick. If you're the Dragons' defense, you got to watch every time that two gets the ball, more times than not, it's in the back of the net. He is enemy number one currently for the Dragons. Whenever he gets it, he is headed straight for that goal. Yeah, he's he's been getting that ball right behind Perillo and trying to make that drive, that quick turn right when he right when he gets around that goal post, that blind angle shot to get it past him, past Perillo in the top corners or down low, banking in off the off the turf. But other than that, there hasn't been any anybody on Rochester that has scored besides Rico Hart. So if you're the Dragons, you know, you're in that huddle, I bet you Coach Her Herbert is telling them, watch number two, watch number two. Every single time he gets the ball, you got to swarm him. And, you know, the Dragons are coming, both of these teams are coming off of losses, so they're basically, <laughs> they're, they want to get off that losing streak. They want a win. As we're just about to get ready to get underway here at in quarter number two. Abs was that draw. Number fifteen, Benjamin Kakona. Takes that one up for the Highlanders. He goes around a few dragons. Hands it off to 24, Ben Brett. As he passes it off to number five, Adam Cacone. Cacone. The Highlanders try to get set something up here in the Dragons' end. Adams turns and shoots, and that one's saved by Perillo. Rico Hart, three goals on the night. He gets it, passes it over to his teammate, 24. He drives towards the net, defended there by Tyler Carson. Adams still working it around, trying to find a lane. Rico Hart throws it over to Brett. Shot there, good save by Noah Perillo. Dragons coming back the other way. Comes Owen Boyd. Right down the center of the field. Finds Luke Gannon and Good save there by Hart to get that with the nub end of the stick. As Rico Arsene gets taken down by number 18, Kyler Carson on his way down the field. And he will get the ball back here as Hart's gonna, Rico Hart's gonna take over. Hart goes right down the middle of the field. Three goals so far for him tonight. Oh, 
Back behind the Dragon's net is number five, Adam Cacone, taking it back in the Dragon's end zone. Throws it back, finds Hart. Back up top there to number 12, Thomas Blaine. Finds 24. It's back down to Cacone, back behind Perillo. Dumps it off to 24 there, Ben Brett. Brett making a move to midfield, finds Hart and that pass is out of reach for Hart as the Dragons get that ball back. Here comes Owen Boyd, number 12 in white, taking up the right side. Owen Boyd, dumps it off there to number 16, that's Giorgio Ruffini. Ruffini trying to find the lane. Pepidellis takes it down the left hash. Finds Tyler Baker at midfield, right at the 30 yard line. Baker. Tyler Baker making his way towards the net. He gets, spins away from Ashton, fires that one over the net. Cole Grown picks up a new ball for the Dragons to get him started. Sam Haynes picks it up. Finds Braden Brown, the right hash. Brown making his way towards that, fires that one, and that one goes wide. Picked up there by Tyler Baker, number three. Back to cross Pepidellis. He moves towards the middle, fires that one on net, and Hart's going to handle that one easily. Adams takes this one up the left side. Fast break for Jack Myers. He gets upended there by Braden Brown and gets muscled to the turf. Timeout, Adams. As we go into a timeout, uh, from what I've seen, the Hart brothers have been nothing but Lake Orion's worst nightmare. On one hand, you have the older brother, Antonio, who has been a goalie with, who's basically been a wall of steel. They haven't been able to get anything past him except that really early goal. And on the other hand, you have Rico, who somehow keeps getting the ball and keeps getting super close runs towards Lake, Orion go Lake Orion's goal. These two brothers, number one and two for Rochester Adams, have been nothing but a pain in Lake Orion's side, and they need to figure out something to do about both of them. Yeah, I'll add something about the heart, hearts for you. Antonio Hart, who is the goal in net tonight for Adams, is committed to the same school as Reese Meach, number 20 on Lake Orion, that being Davenport University in Grand Rapids. So they'll be both playing with each other next year in college. Now those will be some interesting teammates to see. Especially playing uh, against each other tonight. So those two will be teammates next year at Davenport. Both committed for lacrosse as we have 725 remaining here in the first half between Rochester Adams and Lake Orion. The score remains the same. Three to one lead for Rochester over Lake Orion. Adams starts this one off, number 13. Joey Shallow walks that way and fires and scores on Noah Perillo. And Adams takes a three goal lead. Adams' goal scored by number 13, Joey Shallow. Goal number four, first one by someone who's not Rico Hart. <laughs> hey, that is right. <laughs> For an unrigged team, Adams has been giving Lake Orion a lot of trouble. Anybody can win on any given day, Jamie. Mm -hmm. All depends on the day. Draw win there by the Dragons, number seven. Jameson Ray, and that there's gonna be a 
Foul on the play. Looks like the Dragons are going to be shorthanded here. Never a position you want to be in. Now they're going to have to deal with Adams' amazing attack while a man down. I want to see how they're able to deal with this. Adams, great chance to increase their lead here to five. As the Dragons get this one, 58. Justin Clone. Adams coming back the other way, 15. Benjamin Kako. Dumps it off to number two. Hart fires that one over the Dragons net and out of play. Adams trying to get something set up here. Pull a three goal lead over the Dragons. Good break up there by Reese Meach. I don't know how he's doing that. Throws it back to Perillo, the goaltender. He throws it halfway down the field. There's number 13, Logan Whittle. Haynes. So Dragons make a quick change there as Jackson Vasquez has it right now for the Dragons. Trying to find the lane to rush in. Rushes in, makes his way towards the net as dumps it back off. Tyler Baker. Over to Sam Haynes. Haynes takes it, fires, and that one is saved by Hart. He's had the Dragons number all day, making all quality chances, quality shot blocks except for one. Adams takes it towards the nut, number 10. It's upended there by Dragons number 33. And no Perillo on his way to the net. 520 remain here in the first half. Adams, changing, Rivel, passes it off to number 12, Thomas Blaney, so he gets taken down to the turf there as here comes Dragons number 25, Joseph Dijani, coming right down the middle of the field, fires that one into Hart's net. is going back the other way. Good job there by Zachary Jones to muscle that Athens Adams player out of bounds to get the ball back for the Dragons. Flag comes in late. Looks like Little might be penalized there for delay a game. Shooting that ball in the net after the play was whistled. We'll just have to see what happens. Penalty on the Dragons, 11 for delay a game. 30 seconds. Well, and as go. intended, Logan Zachary Jones is going to, going to sit for 30 seconds for a delayed game penalty after he shot that ball into the net after the whistle was blown. That may seem like not much time, but in the game of lacrosse, anything can happen at any moment. Every second counts. More high school games than ever before can be seen live every week on the MH MHSAA TV website. The school broadcast program continues to grow with more and more schools using the NFHS Network's automated production solution, Pixelot, to show both regular season and postseason games. Check it out at mhsaa.tv.
Dragons going to be shorthanded here for 30 seconds. 428 remain here in the first half. Adams still holds a three goal lead over the Dragons. Shallow is going to start with the ball here. 30 seconds. Remain on the man advantage for Adams. Number two, Rico Hart is standing right in front of the net. It's a player you got to watch out for. Dragons are double teaming him. It's 24, Brett passes back down to number five. Am Cacone dumps it over. There's eight. Warlock. And flag comes in late. Looks like the Dragons might be going shorthanded yet again. That shot's fired and blocked by Dragons number 25, Joseph Dijani. Cone passes it over. There's Rico Hart. Three goals on the night. He works his way, passes it over. There's shot there and after Adam scores. Five to one lead now for Rochester Adams. And Brett adds a tally for tonight and Adams increases their lead to four. Lake Orion penalty, one minute for slashing. Lake Orion's number 12, Owen Boyd. He's going to serve the penalty. One minute for slashing. And unlike other fouls, that one is non-releasable, meaning that they will be a man down for a whole minute. Adams coming back the other way. They could increase this lead to five if they score again. And there's another penalty for the Dragons. Delayed penalty coming up on the Dragons. Adams working this one around. There's Hart. Hart trying to find the lane. Trying to get around the damn poor commit, Reese Meach. 240 remain here in the first half. Shot there, that one goes wide off the turf of Perillo. Lake Orion penalty, 30 seconds for offsides. Luke Gannon is gonna take a knee for 30 seconds for the Dragons for being offsides and it's now six on four for Adams. This is a terrible situation that no defense wants to find itself in. Hart fires that one. That one gets deflected there by Reese Meach. And out of harm play. So Dragons chuck this one all the way down. Brady Derry couldn't get there in time to save the ball from going out of bounds, and Adams is going to have another 45 seconds here on the man advantage. They throw this one all the way down, just out of reach of number 13, Joey Shallow, and the Dragons are going to get the ball back. Walk up 
Dominic Novak is going to walk this one in. Throws it back to his goaltender, Noah Perillo. He's going to throw across field there. It's cross Pepadellas taking up the left side. Just under two minutes remain here in the first half. Dragons still down by four to the Rochester Adams Highlanders. Pepadellas trying to find the lane. Dumps it back to the number three, Tyler Baker in white. Baker fires that one, and that one's going to careen wide of Antonio Hart. Brady Dury throws it back. There's Cross Pepadellas. Pepadellas making his way towards the net. Goes over to Sam Haynes, number 21. Haynes looking for a lane. One minute left to Drives go towards the, the net. second quarter. Haynes towards the net, fires, and that one goes over Hart. Forty-four seconds remain here. Braden Brown comes trotting in for the Dragons. Jackson Vasquez has it for the Dragons. He finds a lane, drives towards the net. Vasquez fires that one, and that one's off the post and out. Dragons looking for a last-minute ch chance here before the half ends. Hayes drives in. Sam Hayes. Fires that one and scores. Sam Haynes finds the back of the net for the first time tonight as he decreases the Highlander lead to three. 13.3 seconds left here in the first. Dragons still down by three to Rochester Adams. Chester trying to answer here quickly before the half ends. Good save there by Noah Perillo. As time expires, we're through one half of play. Rochester Adams has a five to two lead over the Lake Orion Dragons. We'll be back here momentarily after a short break for the second half action. And we're back here for the second half action between the Lake Warren Dragons and the Rochester Adams Highlanders. Jamie, what do you? What's your second half predictions here between these two teams? Uh, I don't know. It could go something like the first, because uh, to say that it was rocky for Lake Orion in the beginning would be an understatement. But we'll see what happens. What do both teams have to improve on in the second half? Uh, well, I know for sure that Lake Orion needs to uh, improve our defense. Our defense has been really shoddy this whole time. They've been outmaneuvered, outflanked, and really outplayed. I mean, specifically by Rico Hart, but by other players as well. We have seen, uh, we have seen Rochester Adams get right past uh, the Dragon defense. Dragons trying to get something going here early. Brady Dury is going to take it up that far right side, hands it off to Sam Haynes, 21 in white. As the sun starts to go down here, Sam Haynes trying to find the lane. He likes to pass it back up there. There's 14, Brady Dury. Dury 
Trying to drive towards the net. He has an open lane. He's going to take it. Fires and scores. Brady Dury finds the back of the net, and the Dragons decrease that Adams lead to two. Now, don't call it a comeback, but getting a score, getting a goal already in just a second over a minute is pretty promising for the Dragons, I'd say. Great start so far in the second half for the Dragons. Let's keep it up. Adams penalty, one minute for slashing. Adams is going to be shorthanded. One minute for slashing is going to be trying to make out that number on the far sideline. It looks like it's going to be number 21, Lucas Zikowski. This would be a perfect time for Lake Orion to try and make a comeback if they're already going to be playing a man down. Yeah, it decreased just to one. So Adams wins that draw right down the main, main field. He gets taken down, number 15. It's Benjamin Coco. Coco. Passes off there to Hart, and they pull this one dead. As the Dragons are going to take over. Dominic Novak goes into midfield. There's Sam Haynes. Haynes is going to jog it up for the Dragons. Try and set something up here. They got about 20 seconds remain here in the man advantage. Tyler Baker gets it. He's directing traffic in front. Cross Pepidellis. Braden Brown checks in for the Dragons. Sam Haynes gets it back. Looks for a lane. Goes, directs to go behind the net. There's Dury. Gets it over to... Luke Gannon, shot there from Baker, and that one's going to be handled in the netting of Antonio Hart. Dragons pressuring, Adams breaks this one out. Reese picks this one up for the Dragons. Reese Meach takes it up. Gannon throws it down to Dury. Back in the Adams end zone. Dury trying to drive towards the net. There's Braden Brown. Back up to Sam Haynes. Haynes trying to find the lane. Turns back. Drives towards the net, turns back again. Fires, and that one is saved by Hart. Picked up there again by Sam Haynes. Dumps it off to Braden Brown, number 40 in white. Cross by Bedellis, strides towards the net, breaks a couple tech, and that one's going to be saved there by Hart. That one, that shot deflected up and behind the net. As Adams is going to call a timeout. Timeout, Stay in tune with the prep sports scene by listening to This Week in High School Sports on the MHSAA Network. Carried on nearly 100 radio stations and web audio outlets around the state, This Week features various stories plus a weekly Be the Referee segment. This Week in High School Sports can also be heard by visiting the homepage of the MHSAA website. Now, as we've seen from the last two shots from Lake Orion, Despite their early goal, they have not disheartened Antonio Hart. No pun intended. Yeah, you know, the Hart brothers have totally been draw dominating the Dragons offensively and defensively. You know, you got Antonio blocking all those chances from the Dragons, and then you got his brother, Rico Hart, that's been putting the Dragons behind. And, you know, you got that kind of dual threat. You got the brother threat. I guess you could put it that way. Mm -hmm. As both teams are back to full strength. 8-21 remain here in quarter three.
Just under 20 minutes remain here in the game, pretty much. Effectively. Hart's going to chuck that one to midfield. Finds uh, number 13, Joey Shallow. He's going to take it up for the Highlanders. Highlanders working it around. Back there, number five, Sassone. Sassone taking his time, trying to find another Highlander to pass it off to. He finds number, that's shallow, 13. Back 24, back to Sassone behind Perillo. Sassone takes it. Shallow taking it, taking back the lead for this Adam Highlander attack. Drives towards the net, spins away from a Dragons defender. Fires that one on that. Good save there by Noah Perillo. And the Dragons are coming back the other way. Number 38, C.J. Witt takes it up, dumps it off to Luke Gannon. Back behind there is Dury. Goes it back up top there, it's number 35. Jackson Vasquez dumps it over. Still has it, back up to Sam Haynes. Trying to find a shooting lane, he fires, and that one's saved by Antonio Hart again. Rochester Adams penalty, one minute for slashing. Rochester Adams is gonna be shorthanded yet again, one minute for slashing. That's gonna be number 10 taking a knee for Adams, Jack Myers. So the Dragons have another great opportunity to decrease the Adams Highlanders' lead. Their biggest challenge with this is going to be getting past Hart. That's right. He's been outstanding so far this game. Despite his short stature compared to his uh, teammates, he is a wall. Papadellas gets it over to Sam Haynes. Back down, there's Luke Gannon. Haynes gets it back back to Gannon. Back behind there, Dury. Back up, 16. Giorgio Ruffini. Baker. Papadellas. Baker. Walks around. He's going to find a shooting lane. Dury. Back in the slot there. There's Luke Gann. Couldn't get quite a good shot off, and Hart's going to handle that one. As the Dragons are going to get called there as Brady Dury upended number 15, Benjamin Kako, right at the 40-yard line, and the Dragons are going to be shorthanded. Lake Orion penalty, 30 seconds for pushing. 40-second penalty for pushing there on Brady Dury. Adams gets this attack started. This ball rolls back to the Dragons end. There's 39. Cole Grown. Dumps it off to 16 there. Giorgio Ruffini. Comes Sam Haynes driving in. Goes around a couple Highlanders. Jackson Vasquez has it. He makes a drive towards the net. Looks around, finds Cole Grown there behind the Highlander net. Grown.
Hayes throws it over to Vasquez. He fires that one on in. Hart is going to stop another one. It's like that old adage. So far, the Lake Orion offense has been an unstoppable force, but Antonio Hart and the Adams defense has been Im have been immovable objects. That's right. Hart's been answering those ch those shots put on by the Dragons all night so far. They've only gotten three past him, but they're out shooting Adams ten to one, easy. Mm -hmm. As we see some varsity soccer players practicing on the field behind us. Tyler Baker over the cross, Pepadellis. Sam Haynes back to Pepadellis. He fires that one, and that one's Hart's going to deflect that one out of harm's way. 4 1 remain here in the third quarter. Shot there by Sam Haynes. That's going to squeak by Hart. And the Dragons cut the Highlander lead to one. Going to get down slowly but surely. This could be the comeback that Lake Lorraine has been looking for this entire game. Draw in there by the Highlanders. One goal game between these two teams. Shot there on Perillo and Joey Shallow is going to find the back of the net to increase Rochester's lead by two. Goal scored by number 13, Joey Shallow, is second of the night. 3.26 remain here in the third quarter. Dragons down by two. Dragons take it up, number 35. Jackson Vasquez dumps it off to Luke Gannon. Back there behind for Dury, number 14. Back up to Cross Papadellas, number four. Papadellas. Trying to get something set up here for Lake Orion. Finds Braden Brown. He gets swarmed by Highlanders and Brown rushes towards the net. He gets taken down to the turf. Back behind the net, there's Giorgio Ruffini. Flag comes out. And the Dragons call a timeout. Rochester Adams penalty, 30 second technical for holding. In fact, you can be a referee too. In fact, we need you to get out there and be a referee now more than ever. Nationally, there's a shortage of people working, people willing to work these kids' games. And they are just kids' games. So if you love sports and kids, register today at MHSAA.com. And if you're unable to get out there, please respect the efforts of those who can. 
and nearly 2,000 of the state's top student athletes will be recognized for excelling academically and in school activities through the MHSAA's Scholar Athlete Award, underwritten by the Farm Bureau Insurance. The applicants will be in the running for a total of 32 $2,000 college scholarships. Application materials are available exclusively online through the MHSAA website. Six to four here with 2.10 remaining here in the third quarter. As yeah, the Dragons break out of this timeout. Jamie, what could they be talking about down there? Honestly, I think what they're talking about mostly is just getting their offense more coordinated because it seems that their main strategy has just been to fire off as many shots at heart and the goal as possible and just hope that a couple of them go in. It doesn't seem like there's been as much strategy on how to, say, outmaneuver the goalie and get a goal that way. It's just been throw multiple and hope some of them stick. Prepidellis trying to get that ball back for the Dragons here. He gets muscled down to the turf. and Dragons are going to get that ball back. Prepidellis. Goes it over. There's Baker. Rafini back behind a Dury. Dury right in the middle there. Just out of reach of Sam Haynes. Pepidellis over Sam Haynes. Back to Dury. Back to Pepidellis, and that's going to roll all the way to midfield. So there's a 24. Quick shot there. That one goes wide to Perillo. Islanders throwing the ball around here, trying to get this set up. Holding the two goal lead over the Lake Orion Dragons. Still trying to set this thing up here. They're trying to find a quality chance to increase their lead. Twenty four seconds remain here in the third quarter. Hart, right in front of that there, turns and fires, and it's going to be wide of Perillo, and that's going to go out of bounds. Ten seconds remain here in the third quarter. Maybe one more chance remaining here for the Highlanders. Back there is Cicero. And time is going to expire as Hart couldn't get that shot off, and that... We make it through three, and Rochester Adams holds a two-goal lead over the Dragons, six to four. The second half page of the MHSAA website gets you closer to the action with features on high school sports from around the state, weekly coaches associations, rankings, and coverage of MHSAA tournament finals. It's a great read with fresh content nearly every weekday during the school year. Make the MHSAA second half your first stop for high school sports information. You got 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. You need three. Need two to force it to overtime. You're the Dragons. What are you doing here, Jamie? So if I was the Dragons, what I would be doing right here is I think, so what I think they need to do is they need to come up for both offense and defense a like sound strategy. Because on the defensive side, they've seen men from... Uh, Rochester Adams, such as Rico Hart and Joey Shallow, just run circles around them and get goal after goal because they've just been outmaneuvered. And on the offensive side, they need to come up with a strategy to get past Antonio Hart. I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, but Antonio Hart is a wall. 
a brick wall built right in front of their goal. And they need to come up with some sort of plan to get around him because they know that they ain't going to be able to get through him. Here are the Dragons right now. Sam Haynes has got two of your goals tonight. you got to keep him out for the full 12 minutes. Absolutely. He has been the most consistent player, at least when it comes to scoring and offense, for the Dragons tonight. He could be their key to clinching the victory from the Highlanders. He was key for the hockey team this past winter. Could he be the savior for the Lake Orion lacrosse team here in the final 12 minutes? We're about to find out as Lake Orion jogs back onto the field for the final quarter of play. Orion needs two to tie, three to take the lead. Adams is going to win that draw. Number 15. Benjamin Kokola takes it up. Turns back. So he gets sh um, shoved out of bounds. Dragon ball. There's Vasquez. He's going to take it in for the Dragons. Takes it up the left sideline. Just cut, cut back towards the middle. Fast goes. Tries to get some going here. Dragons changing. Get some fresh legs out there on the field as they try to decrease this Highlander lead to one. Cross Pepidellis. Takes it down the left hash. Spins. Back up there. Sam Haynes, two goals tonight for Hot Rod Haynes. Haynes drives towards the net. Fires with one hand, and that's going to go wide to heart. Brady Dury takes up the right hash, spins, cuts back, goes towards the net, fires, and that one is saved by Hart. Flag comes out. It looks like the Highlanders are going to be shorthanded. Delayed penalty coming up here to Rochester Adams. Papadellis over to Haynes. He has a lane. Fires, and that one goes bouncing over Antonio Hart. Dragons have had really bad luck tonight with shooting. They've made many more shots than Adams, but have gotten less scores. It's like... Either it gets blocked by Hart without him even breaking a sweat, or they happen to go wide or go just straight over the net. Quality chances right there. Mm hmm Quantity over quality. Quality over quantity, I guess. Mm hmm So, Adams is going to be shorthanded. Number 11 is stand taking a knee in the penalty area. Patrick Hodges. Rochester Adams penalty, one minute for unnecessary roughness. One minute for unnecessary roughness, as you just heard from PA announcer, Mr. Perillo. This would be a great chance for the Dragons here to decrease the lead. Sam Haynes throws it back down to Brendan Dury. Back over there, there's Gannon. Braden Brown directing traffic. Zachary Jones back down. Jones gets it back over to Braden Brown. Back over to Tyler Baker. Baker. Back up top there's Braden Brown. Back to Baker. Jerry finds Sam Haynes. Jones gets it back. Jones. Haynes fires and scores! Sam Haynes! Now that circle that you just saw there is what's known in lacrosse as the wheel position. What it does is it allows the attacking team to get around uh, the opposing defending team's uh, defense when they're doing end defense in a man down situation. 
So that oh, that allowed them to play around the perimeter, sort of maneuver around the, f the defenders, and have a perfect opportunity to get a score. Sam Haynes, third goal of the night, hat trick for Hot Rod Haynes. This is his nickname during hockey season and in lacrosse season, apparently, too. Dragons trying to knot this game at six apiece now. Yes, there's going to be a timeout called by Lake Orient. If you want to learn more about the fine art of officiating, listen to Be the Referee every week on the MHSAA Network. Learn about rules and mechanics, play, you make the call, and find out how you can become an official. You can also listen by going to MHSAA.com. The teams, players, and coaches work hard all week getting ready for the game. So do the officials. Local officials meetings across the state every week help the men and women calling the action stay on top of their game. Let's give them the respect they deserve. Better yet, why don't you become one? Visit the MHSAA website for more information. There's help wanted, just whistle. Now with just over nine minutes remaining, Lake Orion needs to get at least one goal to tie it up, two goals to win it outright, and not have to go to overtime. Now, if I were them, I would try to focus hard on that offense. Because, well, for one, we need to score. But secondly, their defense, like, Adams' main strength has been their goalie and their defense. And so what they need to do is they need to figure out how to, I, I've said it before, Lake Ori needs to figure out how to outmaneuver Adams' defense and their goalie to make sure that they can get those two goals before the nine minutes are up. That's right. They get one here. We're going to overtime. They get two. Dragons might have a chance, might win this game. Just a hair over nine minutes remaining here in regulation. Thirty nine there, Cole Grown behind the Adams net. Guy shows the front fires, and that one's going to go wide of heart. Adams coming down the Lake Orion end. Garrett Morlock passing over to number 13, Joey Shallow. Two goals tonight for Joey. And that, that ball is going to go out of bounds, and the Dragons get it back. Eight minutes remain here in the fourth quarter. Dragons trying to get this ball this set up here. Cross Pepadellas there on the left sideline. Passes it over. Sam Haynes has a lane. Turns back. Back up to Cross. Pepadellas. He takes it down the left hash. Has a lane. Shoots and scores. Cross Pepadellas ties the game at six for the Dragons. This is what the Dragons have been waiting for. This is their opportunity to finally bring it to their lead. They have been down behind Adams for almost the entirety of this game. This is their moment to finally just bring it all home. You have time if you're the Dragons. You got seven, pretty much seven minutes and 30 seconds remain here on the clock. All knotted up at six. A 
Islanders get a quick quick break there. There's number 15, Benjamin Kakoa. To get it back down low, there's Sison, and he's going to step out of bounds, and the Dragons are going to get the ball back yet again. Blake Orion's going to be shorthanded here. 30 second penalty for conduct. Looks like it's going to be number seven, Jamison Rain. Great chance for Rochester to get back in the driver's seat of this game. Hart shoots. And good save there by Noah Perillo. He's going to throw that back out to midfield. Picked up there by the Dragons, number 16, Giorgio Ruffini. Rafini back behind there to Dury. Dury looking around. Finds Sam Haynes there on the left sideline. 6.20 remain here in regulation. All knotted up here at Dragon Stadium at 6. Cross Pepadellas. Finds Sam Haynes. Sam Haynes drives down the left hash. He fires on net, and Hart's going to deflect that behind the net, but the Dragons still got it. Giorgio Ruffini. Back over to Sam Haynes. Haynes going to drive towards the net again. Fires, and Hart's going to deflect that one out, and that's going to go the distance and be out of bounds. Brady Dury trying to break it towards the net. Finds Vasquez. Breaks down the right hash, turns back. Gets it back to Dury. Cross there to cross Pepidellis. Takes it down the left hash, spins back. Tried to throw it on net. Lex not to. Finds Sam Haynes. He's directing traffic. Sam Haynes making a run towards the net. Fires, and that one goes wide to heart. Luke Gannon picks it up. Finds Brady Dury. Throws it across the field. The cross Pepidellis. He's going to take it down the left hatch. Turns back. Cuts towards the middle. Fires. And that one's off the crossbar. And out of play. Just under five minutes remain here in regulation. All knotted up at six at Dragon Stadium. Sam Haynes gets it back at about the 35. Walks in, down the left hash, back behind. Here's Giorgio Ruffini back to... Dury, picks it up. Back over, there's a shot there from off the stick of Braden Brown. That's going to go out of play. Dragon still got it, Giorgio Ruffini. Dragons pressuring here. In the late going to the late going to the game. Fast break here. Just Cole Grown try to muscle his way towards the. He takes it behind. Braden Brown, 40 and white, has it. He tries to get towards the net. Throws it back. Jackson Vasquez picks it up. He fires that one on net, and Antonio Hart is going to have that one. Shallow takes it up the right sideline. He is going to get, he's going to throw that one all the way in on net. No Perillo. He's going to rush, he's going to run up a little bit. Sam Haynes passes over to Cross Pepidellis. 
Got Pedellas, makes the way towards the net. Good save there by Antonio Hart. Three minutes remain here in the game. Still tied at six apiece. Dragons are pressuring. Braden Brown gets it knocked away from him. As Rochester, as Rochester Adams is going to call a timeout. Thanks to Ori Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch LOHS sports and events all year. It costs less than $11 per month to watch sporting events, and nearly half of the subscription money goes back to our LOHS program. Tune in online at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. And stay up to date with Dragon Broadcasting on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Visit our website at www.dragonbroadcasting.org and drop us an email at dragonbroadcasting at lok12.org. We welcome your feedback. And here are five good reasons for high school multi-sport participation. Fewer overuse injuries, less opportunity for emotional burnout, exposure to different kids and coaches, exposure to different roles, and learning to compete better. Being a multi-sport participant can help a kid become a more well-rounded person. Multi-sport participation is cross-training for life. Learn more at the MHSAA website. With only 2 minutes and 47 seconds left, the tension out here tonight is palpable. You can cut it with a knife right now. Both Lake Orion and Rochester Adams are just one goal away from victory after both of them have come off of losses from their last games. Especially to say that this game is stressful right now would be an understatement. What do you think, Dawson? Especially if you're Lake Orion. You know, you were down the whole game, crawl back, you're right back to where we started pretty much, right in the start of this game at 0-0. This game is basically, it's not 6-6, six to six, it's back to being 0-0. Zero, zero. Pretty much, next score wins. Absolutely. Adams has it. Shallow fires that one on Perillo, and that's going to careen out of bounds. Adams is going to take it in. Coming up on two minutes remaining here in the game. Hart, got to watch out for that guy. Fires that one in on Perillo, and that one's going to bounce wide. Cacone, over on the far sideline. Gets it back behind there, shallow. Two minutes exactly remaining in regulation time. Name nodded at game is nodded at six apiece, and that's going to go to midfield. And the Dragons are going to get the ball. It's a great opportunity for them to score. Let's see if they can capitalize on it. Sam Haynes picks it up for the Dragons. Cross Pepidellis gets it. Looks around, drives towards the net, turns back, back up to Sam Haynes. Cross, goes in, fires, and that one's going to be blocked there by Antonio Hart. The Dragons are going to get the ball back. Just a one minute left in the game. One minute left in the game. Sam Haynes fires that one over to the net. Exactly one minute. Giorgio Orfini picks it off the Dragons. Just under one minute remaining here in the game. Jackson Vasquez takes it around the ten. Cuts back, drives towards the net. He still has it. Fire scores! Jackson Vasquez! Exactly what Lake Orion needed. 
39.9 seconds remain in the game and the Dragons take a 7-6 lead over the Rochester Adams Highlanders. From being down and almost out to in the lead. This game has been nothing short of a miracle for the Dragons. To be able to storm back to the, get the game even, knotted up at six, and then to take the lead with under 40 seconds remaining. It's unheard of. If you're Rochester right now, you got to get something going here quickly. You're the Dragons right now. you got to be guarding double teaming number two, Rico Hart. If anyone's going to bring down the lead the Dragons have, it's going to be him. Back behind the net there, Sierra, 24 seconds on the clock. There's the man you got to watch out for, Rico Hart. Trying to find the lane, 15 seconds remain on the clock. He fires and scores! Rico Hart ties the game at seven with 10 seconds to go. The nightmare for Lake Orion, Rico Hart strikes again at 10 seconds left. And we just literally called that 30 seconds ago. You got to watch out for Rico Hart. He just tied the game. His as I fourth said, goal tonight. As I said, if someone was going to score for Rochester Adams in those last 40 seconds, it was going to be Rico Hart. And who just did it? Number two, Rico Hart. Now there's still pretty much 11 seconds left on the clock. You can still score a goal in that time, but you got to take it right to the net. Here come the Dragons. Jackson Vasquez throws this one on to Antonio. He's going to chuck it the length. And Reese Meach is going to take care of that one, get it out of harm's way. And that, that's the end of regulation. We are headed to overtime. The score is knotted up at seven apiece between the Lake Orion Dragons and the Rochester Adams Highlanders. We'll be back here after a short break for the overtime session. And we're back here for the overtime session here at Dragon Stadium as the Dragons crawl back to tie this game, then take the lead, and then Adams didn't waver and tied it right back up at seven. Jamie, what's overtime rules look like in lacrosse? Um, well, frankly, to put it, we've got four minutes on the clock, and whoever scores first, they get it. And... Frankly put, this is going to be something insane to see. After what has happened in the past 40 seconds of quarter four, anything can happen this overtime. And Lake Orion is going to call a timeout. More high school games than ever before can be seen live every week on the MHSAA TV website. The school broadcast program continues to grow with more and more schools using the NFHS Network's automated production solution, Pixelot, to show both regular season and postseason games. Check it out at MHSAA.tv. Stay in tune with the prep sports scene by listening to This Week in High School Sports on the MHSAA Network. Carried on nearly 100 radio stations and web audio outlets around the state, This Week features various stories plus a weekly Bef Be the Referee segment. This Week in High School Sports can also be heard by visiting the homepage of the MHSAA website. Where can you find good information on all kinds of topics related to the well-being of our student-athletes? Check out the Health and Safety page on the MHSAA website. Learn about multi-sport participation, heat and hydration, cardiovascular resources, as well as insurance benefits available for students. 
It's all on the health and safety page of MHSAA.com. Overtime format is four minutes of play, and whatever team at the end of that four minutes will win the game. So regardless if you score first, it doesn't matter till the clock strikes zero. Blake Orion gets the ball. Cross Pepidellis. Throws it over to Braden Brown. Brown drives towards the net. Finds number 22 back to Braden Brown. Back up to Cross Pepidellis. Brady Dury drives towards the net. Finds Sam Haynes. Finds Brayden Brown. He drives towards the net. Brayden Brown loses control of the ball. Gets it back, though. Back over the cross. Pepidellis at the point. Takes it in. Spins. Drives towards the net. Fires and scores! Cross Pepidellis! Gives the Dragons an 8-7 lead with two. Lake Orion goal. Scored by senior. Number four, Cross, Papadellis. And Lake Orion is going to win this one 8-7 in overtime. Let's give a big hand to both teams. Who played Cross, Papadellis with the game-winning goal. As the Dragons crawl back from being down most of the game. Pull out to win in overtime. That was the underdog story of the year. Oh, more so the comeback story of the year. To see Lake Orion down five to two at one point and come back to win eight to seven, that's not something you see normally in a season. That's right, talk about Antonio Hart locking down the Dragons for pretty much three quarters. His younger brother, Rico Hart, getting the first three goals for uh, the Rochester Adams Highlanders and being a constant threat to Lake Orion's defense. And that'll do it from us here at Dragon Stadium. The Dragons come back victory 8-7 to seven over the Rochester Adams Highlanders. From my partner, Jamison Fanning, and I'm Dawson Wolf. So long, everybody. <laughs>